in the chorus you go to the bridge which is I made a little teeny mistake there, but it was just the chorus again that I had already played 50 times. So, okay. So that is Don't Say No Tonight by Eugene Wilde. I know I've had to have heard that song before when I was a kid, but I'm just not familiar with it, nor the singer. But I know who requested the song. <laughs> Sir Michaels. <laughs> Yes, indeedy. Uh, Shades Michaels. So thank you for sponsoring this video, sir. And thank you for being patient. You had to wait like a week for this particular one. Um, this one, I do have a chord sheet typed out for it. Um, jumps around a lot because it's a lot of inversions. So it's hard to actually show what all the inversions on these chord sheets so you definitely want to need if you decide that you want to spend or you know pay two dollars because you want to get this chord sheet that i have typed up in word or pdf you definitely going to have to work with the video because it's like you're playing the same chord with all these different inversions at certain parts of the song so let's get started because um, it doesn't have to be a long tutorial, but it can be because I can get long with it. So I'm going to try to start. So your intro and your verse is basically the same thing. So I'm not going to really play the intro because you can get the intro from the verse, the first half of the verse. So you want to start the song off with C over F, C major over F. So your left hand, F, C, F, right hand, C, E, G. And then you're just going to move up to an F major with your right hand. All you do is you keep your thumb on C, take your pointing finger, move it up to F, and take what you have on A, I mean on G, and move it up to A. That's all you got to do. Gonna do that two times the first time you're gonna do it over F and then the same two chords and all I did was just put it over dad on the left hand D A D okay so let's look at that again D, D, D. okay so you 
Okay, you got that. And then you want to go to, um, no, you want to put E flat in the bass. E flat, B flat, E flat in the left hand. And on the right hand, you want to play an F major chord inverted. C, F, A. Do, do. So it's do, do. So you're going to go from, now doing all of this, you're going to still have your hand on E flat on the left hand, okay? So to try to point out things, I'm going to remove my hand from there. And when I, you know, after I show you all the chords, I'll play it again. But you're going to keep this E flat for, for these transitions. So you're going to have F major, C, F, A. So you're gonna go from your F major, C, F, A. Um, this is actually, um, you can look at it as really a G minor inverted, okay? Because technically, if you put G right here, it's a G minor chord, G, B flat, D. So I didn't even really look at it like that. I was looking at it as a B flat over E flat, but yeah. So, okay, so you got your first chord, your next chord is, you're going to jump up to D, G, B flat. So you got, do, do. so you're going to go from, do, do. so you got your, do, do. you're going to take this B flat and bring it down here. Keep the D and that G there. Okay. You're going to go to this A, um, F chord, which is A, C, F, and then go back to the B flat, D, G. All that while still over E flat. Let's do that slowly again. You got the, that's you, you got the, once you, I'm talking about the chord when you get to the E flat and the bass. You got the. Again, that's F major right here. C, F, A, D, G, B flat. Then all the only notes you're switching is this high B flat and bringing it down there. Okay. And then you're going to go down. A, C, F. And then you're going to come back to this chord again. B flat, D, G. It's really an inverted G minor chord, but it's over E flat though. So you have do, 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 do. all of that is over E flat. Okay, so, th so that's what you got right there. And then after you do that section, you wanna go to, I won't say that section, but once you do that progression, that progression, you're gonna go to this progression. You're going to go to a D minor over G. You got G in the left hand, F, A, D. This is an inverted D minor chord on my right hand. D minor over G. And then you're going to move up to an A minor chord, A, A, C, E. Then you're going to move to a B flat chord, B flat on the left hand, B flat, D, F, and then you're going to move to C major 9. C, D, E, G. The D is what makes it a 9. Major 9. So you got da, 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 da. And when I say play that B flat chord, you can add the C. Make that a B flat, B flat major 9 to give it a more mature sound. So make that B flat C, D, F. You know what I'm saying? Just add that C to it. So you got da, 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 da. Okay, again, da, da, da. Okay, 
So that's what you got right there. So let's look at the verse again. the first time you're just going to go ahead on and play your C over F again uh, I'd like to go you just keep the F on the bass like when you're coming out the first half of the verse the, the your left hand doesn't go down it goes on F and it stays on F but you still play C over F C and then F again all I did was just invert the C major chord because it sounds like I hear the C up here, so this is still a C major chord, but um, E, G, C, and then, and then that's the F major chord, C, F, A, bring it down to C, C, E, G, and back to C, F, A, so I'm doing D. Now that's the intro to the song and it's also the first half of the verse. That's how you play the chords. They're 1000% exactly the same. So when you're doing the second half of the first verse, so that's the first half of the verse, the first couple of lines, then you're gonna go back to like you was playing it before, C over F, then put it over D, and then you got your that is still the same and you got your D minor over G then now at this point once you get to this point the last time you played that little you know C over F and stayed over there not this time after you do it the second time you want to go straight into the chorus now so okay so here we go this is the second half of the first verse so you got So those are just the same chords over and over again. So all I gotta do is just show you. You wanna start with an A minor seven. So don't, I guess when he's saying don't say no to me tonight, this is the word don't. A, E on the left hand. A, C, E, G on the right hand. That's an A minor seven. Don't say. And then I'm going to a B flat and F on the left hand. C, F, A, that's an F major over B flat. So now return back to the A minor seven again. You will come right back to it the same way you played it. A E on the left hand, A C E G, right hand, and now you're going to do G minor seven, G D on the left hand, G B flat B as in boy, D that's D as in door F, and then you're going to go to a. C major 9 chord, C, G, C on the left hand, C, D, E, G on the right hand, and then you want to play this B flat major 7 chord, B flat and F on the left hand, B flat, D as in door, F, and A. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that was 6 chords I showed you. You're going to play those six chords pretty quickly three times. And on the fourth time, you want to play all of them except for the B flat major seven, the last chord. You'll still play all of them, but instead of playing the E, that B flat major chord, you, the fourth time around, you want to go straight into... What it is, is it's A over D. So you got D in your bass and an A major on your right hand, which is A, C, sharp, E. And then you take it up to D major on your right hand. So you keep the D. You, you wanna stay on the D on the left hand, go Okay, when I moved up, that's went to A, D as in door, F sharp. That's a D major chord. I just took the A and played it down there. So you got A over D to a D. Play it again. 
okay? So, here's your chorus. You got, don't take me home. That's the first time. That's your chorus. Again, you're just playing those chords. A minor, B flat over F, A minor, G minor, C major 9, B flat major 7. Just, just in case you caught that another way of playing it i ain't going to spell it out but if you caught that okay cool all right so after that you're going to go back to the verse again and then you're going to play the chorus again so you got the second verse same chords as the first time and then you're going to play the second chord the chorus the second time now here's the thing about when you play the chorus the second time when you play the chorus the second time you will not end the chorus with the this is not in the chorus, it's not in the chorus no more. It is only in the chorus the first time you play the chorus. That's the only time. So what they do is they play those series of chords. Okay, they do that four times. And then on the fourth time, they'll go D, 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 and they'll go Okay, so um, they um, they don't play that B flat major nine the fourth time around, but we never play the B flat major nine the fourth time around up to this point in the song anyway. The fourth time you go do 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 do, and then you go. Okay, so let's go over that. This is the bridge. So after you play that C major nine, it just it abruptly go to F minor over E flat. You can play it down here, but on the track it just sounds like it's up. So that's the only reason why I played it up there. But if you want to go, you know what I'm saying? But you know, on the track it's up here. E flat on the left hand with a B flat in the middle. E flat, B flat, E flat. Right hand is F, A flat, C. So you're going do, do, and then you're going to go to an E flat. You're going to keep the E flat on your left hand. So, but on your right hand, you're going to play that F minor and then go down to an E flat major chord, which is E flat, G, B flat. And then you're going to go back to, then you're going to go up to a a flat major chord okay this is inverted E flat A flat C and then you're gonna go back to the E flat major chord again E flat G E flat so you got then A flat so that's the first sequences and all of that is gonna be over E flat flat major a flat major e flat major then you're going to go as if you're playing the beginning of the song again and go c over f and then f c over d and this is just like the first verse right there you got c major over f f c f on the left hand c e g on the right hand right um, and then you just move your C major up to the F major chord like you did at the beginning of the song. C, F, A. So you got D. Then you put those same, play those same two chords again, but you're just moving your left hand to D. Right? Okay, so so far we got... Sorry about that. 
keep stay on the D. And then you're gonna play that cycle again, F minor over E. A flat over E. Now, the next time, you're going to go to a B flat major nine over C because you're preparing to go to the next key of the song. You're preparing to go to this part of the song, okay? You're gonna take the key up, so this B flat major nine over C, you have C, G, C on the left hand, and on the right hand, I just play a B flat major nine, which is B flat, C, this is the ninth, this is what making it a major nine, D as in door, and F. Put that over top of C. And then you're gonna move every single finger up a half step, okay? So let's take a look at the left hand. Take that C, C sharp, G to G sharp, C to C sharp. Take this B, go to B natural. Take this C, go to C sharp. Take this D, go to D sharp. Take this F, F sharp. And now what we have is a B major chord and it's over D flat. You might want to say C sharp, so you know, I say D flat. So you're going to half step. And now I'm going to show you quickly the chorus in the new key. See, so now you got to go D. So, okay, so now you got, you used to just be able to go But now you got to go So just look at those real quick You got B flat minor 7 now You went. You used to play A flat minor 7 Now you're playing B flat minor 7 B flat, F, A flat on the left hand, right hand, B flat, that's B as in boy, D flat, that's D as in door, F, A flat. I think sometimes I leave the A flat out if I feel like it, if I don't need that sound. So, but anyway, that's up to you. And then the next one. Way I play the G flat over B. This used to be we used to play this chord. Now technically you can play it this way, but I see like when I when I switched the key and had to play in the new key, my fingers seem to easier go. So what I'm doing is I'm changing the inversion to fit my fingers. So you went from so what I'm doing is B. F sharp on my left hand, and then all black keys on the right hand, B flat, D flat, that's D as in door, E flat, and G flat. So we got, and you go back to the B flat minor seven again, just like when you did the other chords, and you kept having to go back to that A minor seven, now you gotta keep going back to the B flat minor seven, and you can go, now remember, I said you can play it that way too. If you'd rather play it this way and not um, this way, it's your choice. This is one way you can play the B, over, the G flat over B, which is always going to be B on the left hand, and your black keys here: B flat, D flat, E flat, G flat. Or you can, if you want that brighter sound, D flat, G flat, and B flat. Add that E flat if you really want to make it sound jazzy. So you can go. Yep, you sure can. That does sound kind of nice, don't it? Okay. So after you come back to that B flat minor seven, you're now on A flat minor seven, which is A flat, E flat on the left hand, A flat, B as in boy, D flat. No, 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 not D flat. No. E flat, E flat, and G flat. Again, that's A flat, B as in boy, E flat, G flat. And then you're going to go to a D flat major nine. 
So you got flat dad on the left hand, D flat, A flat, D flat. And on the right hand, I'm doing D flat, E flat. Okay, I was, I was trying to see something, I'm sorry. D flat, E flat, F and A flat, okay? So, and then to do my walk over, I used to play the B flat minor, right? Is that what I used to do? Yeah, I used to play this. Now, you have the option of playing it nice and spread out like this. This would be a perfect, you know, you're keeping the same inversion, but, you know, went up a half step. B on the left hand, B, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp. You can do that. What I chose to do is use all of these black keys down here. Still give me a B major seven with a B in the bass. Uh, then you got a A sharp, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp. So those are your one. Those are your six chords from the chorus, and I show some of them. I showed you two alternate ways of playing. So you got. I gave you different options to play it. Okay. So after that key change, he does the chorus. If if you purchase the chord sheet where I typed out all the chords, there's a part where I put ad libs, question mark, LOL. Not really sure what to call this part because what he does is he actually starts singing these words. Now he's using the chords from the chorus, but he's leaving out the B major seven. So he's still using B minor seven. And then he's still doing G flat over B, B minor seven, um, B minor seven to the A flat minor seven, to the D flat major nine. But he's not playing, they're not playing that chord. They're just going right back to the B flat major seven, B flat minor seven to the G flat over B, B flat minor seven to the A flat minor seven. D flat major nine, skipping, skipping that one. Okay, so what they're doing, and he's he he has words right there that he sings. Remember, I know the words of the song, but they'll go. You see how I skip that chord? I'm not playing it on that last chord. Just and then on the fourth time they go. And instead of playing that D flat major nine, they play the B flat major nine over D flat, which is the same chord you play when you was going into this new key. You went dun, 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 and you went to this chord. It's the same chord that they play. They'll go dun, dun, dun. and then they go back to playing the chorus the way they usually play it with the B major seven at the end. until the song is over so that's your tutorial that's the whole song um i'm pretty sure this video is probably long but it's definitely my last one because i gotta um gotta be at church early in the morning on a saturday morning right <laughs> and um for a service so i'm gonna call it a night but um don't say no tonight by eugene wilde okay um if you would like to donate uh, you can donate via the PayPal. And of course, you can make your request if you would like to request a song if your donation. You know, if you want to make a donation to, for me to sit down and learn your song, you know. And also, if you would like to have a copy 
of what I typed up on my screen when I was learning the song and typing up the chords. It's nothing fancy. I don't do nothing fancy. I'll say verse and just type the chords and then chorus and where you know. But if, if that helps you out, all you can all you have to do is just send a two dollar donation to my PayPal. The uh, PayPal link will be in the description box. And you can get it in Word format or you can get it in PDF format. If you would like a Word and a PDF format, just send three dollars for that. And now and please don't forget to put your email address on there. Put your email address on there or I won't be able to email you the course, okay? So, um, yep. And also the Patreon account. We have two Patreons that have signed up. Uh, we definitely want to build that up. So if you're being blessed by these songs, I'm running a special, I think what's today's May 13th. Let me double check. Right, from May 13th until... Um, May 20, no, May 19th, I'm sorry, May 13th until May 19th, the 19th is Friday, this is Saturday morning, and I'm, I'm taping this, like 3 in the morning, Saturday morning, and you have till Friday midnight, anyone that joins the Patreon page and pledges at least $10 a month, after your first pledge goes through, that won't go through until June 1st because Patreon does not charge a card until the first of the month. Once that first pledge goes through, this is just for those who sign up between, um, to be honest with you, um, is yeah the 13th, that's today, to May 19th. You will automatically be able to request a song. I will make an order. I will make a... Um, I'll have to make a schedule because, you know, that I might get a lot of songs. You know, that means I'll have to let you know, hey, okay, I got this many people who signed up. So I'm going to, I, I still work full time. So, you know, I'll give you a schedule and I'll let you know when the song will be up. So that's just, you know, a little incentive for joining the Patreon. Um, so there you go. Um, thank you, Mr. Michaels. He has been contributing a, a lot to the page, Shades Michael. And he even wants to uh, talk to me about, you know, doing some things to um, even do more with the page. I just haven't had a chance to get back to him because I've been burnt out. And it's almost it's, it's almost time where I can finally rest a little bit. I just need a couple more weeks when school is out. You know what I'm saying? Teaching at the school. So it's all good. So, okay. Um, all the, the links to the Patreon and the link to the PayPal is in the description box. I will talk to y'all later. Peace.